Dr. Wowie. I love that bit during the show where the fucking Dr. Light stutters over his words. What's, uh, is there a Dr. Light in Battle Network? Not really. There's no, there's no, no. No, no, not really. What? There's, there's different bad organizations, like W3 and stuff like that, but, um... Are you, are... As far as the good guys, well, like... Well, what's the, what's the main there's kid's... A, there's a people there you didn't examine. Yeah. What's the main kid's name again? Lan Hikari. Okay, so are you theoretically, like... The son of Dr. Light? Yeah, basically. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. So they just kind of never refer to him. He's, he I don't know, think he's... Is he another, like, Pokemon missing dad? Uh, no, no, he does appear at some points, but it's been... It has been a very long time since... Since I've... I've... Like, I don't remember the plot details, okay. to be blunt. Because the staple... If you only had a clearer look. But yeah, your, right. his dad does appear. I, I think... The staples of I every I can't remember the good... details, whether he made the NetNavi system or whatever, but, like... He's basically Dr. Light, kind of, but he's not as old. The staples of every lots, lots, less handsome. The staples of every good or not good uh, child adventure with his animal buddies story is that you need an absentee father every time. Well, I don't know. Doctor Light either... was there for Mega Man. Yeah, but I'm what. I, but what I mean it's is a fucking like fucking baby robot game for babies. But you you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, right. It's either your dad was the best ever and then he died or went missing doing this job. Or yeah. he was never around to begin with. Yeah, well, stereotypes be stereotypes. You know, uh, Hunter x Hunter and all that. Yeah, it's a good this, show. This, this double fucking swing is super solid. <laughs> Swayhammer now alone is panic stricken. All right, um, you can heal everybody because I could use a little. Oh, you need to top off yourself, so that's fine. Like. Where was what was uh what was the fucking Monster Rancher kid Mochi not Mochi oh my god the Monster Rancher kid he didn't have an old like he had no, a mom he, he must have had a father he but had a I have mom. no fucking clue I don't remember there being a dad in the I equation no there I have no fucking clue if the Monster Hunter kid was his name Mochi was that what it was Mochi was no Mochi Mo was his buddy Mochi I was gonna was say Mochi the, was as uh, the, the little yeah the, the little, little pink little, guy yeah little, little white with green on his back with a leaf on his back yeah oh, that's true he was white right yeah this is what Mochi Swayzo Golem Swayzo was the eye Swayzo's the eye it was Golem yeah it was the Golem Pixie that wasn't too bad. what the fuck was Pixie the girl that like the little uh, the, with the demon girl with the wings and the horns Shit. she looked like a human. What do I, and, when, and then there was the wolf whose name I forget. Yeah, but she just he just had he basically just had a sexy girl with wings and horns. Like he had a Morrigan that counted as a monster. And he's like, yeah. For some reason. I got a good Pokemon. Yeah. I don't get it, but it's fine. But uh, I don't remember that kid's name, but I don't think. Uh, this over the Nar? I don't know. But yeah, I don't remember their. I remember his mom, and I barely, vaguely think there was a mother, and that was it. Yeah. Man, this this uh, photo taking sequence is. Um, yep. I can't believe that all three floors. Like, that's how you build a building, right? But I can't believe that all three floors of this dungeon seem to have had the same layout thus far. Just mirroring where like, the let's elevator see. is. Like, it's really the same layout. And that that's how you build a building. Great. You accurately built a building, but that's not a. Not a super thrilling dungeon design. No, in fact, we were talking about, like, how the dungeon design is actually quite dry. Yeah, it sucks. And it's really bland, and the, the art is, like, super competent for them, but, like... It's unfortunate. Super plain dungeons. You know, you get one or two, you get a cutscene in the beginning, you get one in the middle, and then you get one before your boss. Yeah. And that's been pretty formulaic. Well, and in the last dungeon, too, like, there, there was the puzzle rooms, right? But before the puzzle rooms where there was the switches, you know, yeah. the switches that taught us stuff? Yeah. Um, the sw they, they, like, put them in the narrowest hallways they could possibly design in this game, you know? And that, that like, that kind of confined feeling is something I've been feeling this whole game. I think the desert was the only area where I was like, yeah, it's pretty open, but of course it's just an illusion, you know? Yeah. And I mean, in every game, act like, freedom and open areas is an illusion. Always. You're just, you're just in a big box, but, like, most games, I feel, don't struggle with it as much as this game does. Yeah, um, I, I definitely would say that, like, it feels to me like middle-of-the-game stretch, you know? Uh, I, the earlier dungeons for maybe it was just because it wasn't we didn't notice the, the earlier pattern. dungeons I think were a bit longer actually but I I don't I'm, I don't wanna, I don't want to hold myself to that because I obviously don't remember the hour count but I feel like the dungeons have been getting shorter but I, I don't know maybe I'm but maybe I definitely but, but I wasn't feeling it as much you know with the repetition until uh, I'd say like these last couple 
So that that is definitely a point, a knock against this game is. Oh, for sure. You're you're you're. you're it's a rougher grind through the middle of it. Um, and you know, some Mega Man stages, if you think about it in that respect, are longer than others. But. But. You know, like, that would have been cool if in this game you got to pick one of eight stages to go to. That would have been fantastic. And you fight the Robot Master, and then you get a thing. I don't know how they missed out on that opportunity, to be perfectly how did that honest. Not yeah, I've never thought of that how until you, now. Yeah. How did that not... I not have a boss select screen, and then you pick your zone, and then you RPG your way through the zone. I don't think any of the Battle Network games did that either, now that I think about it, but... I mean, you have to create a story... A time, but fuck. The, 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 you have to create a story where, like, the events are all piece of a whole and they're kind of individually inconsequential is one downside of creating that well, system. Well, you, you could just push the story ahead whenever you beat a boss by just having more generalized story bits. I think Mighty Number no. 9 does that exact thing, actually. I guess you, you can, know, You yeah. get little snippets about that boss's context in their regional, in their region. And after beating X number... You get a, like a, a proper cutscene. A cut proper cutscene. You're yeah. right. Yeah, they could have done that. And for all its failings, that was not one of its failings, so... It's strange. Strange that they didn't go for that. Oh yeah, we got them all. I'm so glad we didn't miss any. What do you think? Unless Godil's gonna be like, you missed one, X. Oh no! Well, I didn't even have to me. walk up to that wall. What? What is it? What is it? It's true. It's, it's a missile. Oh, it's not a big robot. A missile? They're using super force metal for the warhead of that missile. What'll happen if it explodes? The energy will be released instantaneously, affecting every reploid in the northern hemisphere. Affect them how? The interference emitted by force metal will create a mass of mavericks! What? Huh. I guess that's yes. how that works. You must stop that missile from firing. Remove the metal from the warhead. Roger. That's bad. Yeah. Because mavericks usually just kind of happen. Godil's really, like, not... Cool? Yeah, you're right. He's not an interesting, like, character. He's a fucking science duck. Yeah. What do you, what do you, no, that's it, exactly. I expect nothing more, to be perfectly honest. Opening missile silo gate. Oh. <laughs> Good sink. Uh, we didn't hit a save put at any point during this. Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. Um, and we haven't gone uh, that way. Yeah. yeah. So, let's... Uh, what do we... What, 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 what do we... What do we... I mean, that's hard progress. But we've we've come across multiple floors here. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a save point. No, 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 no unopened doors here on the map, though. What about up, like, up even higher? Yeah, okay, locked, oh, it was locked, locked right? Door. Yeah, 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 I remember that, I remember yeah. that, I remember that. Okay. Yeah, well, let's just keep going, then. All right, well, That locked door might be, like, the, 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 you know, you have to grind out a... No, not that one. No, not that one. Boss. That one. There you go. That locked door might be, um, like, a secret area for this, for this level. You know what? Yeah, because, because there was always one. And yeah, and there was, like, three or four items behind it on the map. So you always I'm need the, that's you always it. need the key. Yep, there we go. Save point. No worries. You always need the key. And RPGs that don't put save points in front of bosses, like I respect it, but that's cruel. You know what else? But you know what's not great though? The fact that it's a save point, but it's you can't. There's no such thing as a tent. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you have to warp back out and warp back yeah, in. Yeah, like so. I, I would like right now. I'm I, theoretically. I mean, I'm fine, but I would have to warp back out and then run a straight a, a line. While, yeah. To come back down here, down the elevator, and it's like that's goofy. Just yeah, let it's me, a waste. Uh, um, just let me do it. So, um, everyone's still got their their stuff. Yes. Water resist, water guard. Yep, yep, yep. And then uh, you've got your your thunder shit on, and okay, we're good, we're good. Well, it makes me think of like Bloodborne, where you couldn't warp from place to place. You could only warp to the hunter's dream, and then run back to the and then yeah. and then warp from the hunter's dream to anywhere else. Yes. So like, kind of wasted your time on an extra load. Because you know exactly what everyone's going to be doing for this for, but... Yeah. Yeah. And, like, uh, Sonic Unleashed has a similar thing, where you, when you're at the, um, the <gasps> environment just outside of the day and night levels, you can only warp back to the hub previous. You can't warp all the way back to the world map. So if you want to go back to the world map, you have to go back to the hub and then back to the world map. Strange-ass oversight. Like... Yeah, no, I, I don't know if it was, like, to deal with, like, memory issues or, you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. maybe there was a reason we just don't know, but... Oh, yeah, there, like, there might be a great reason for it, but it's just, it doesn't feel, it, doesn't feel great. It's inconveniencing yeah. the, the player, you know? You gotta really think about that stuff. Yeah. That's definitely one of the few things in Bloodborne that I really, like, think is an actual flaw. There's stuff where, like, 
the um the the gems or whatever they're called the uh, what are they called again the uh um um madman's knowledge no the gems that you put in your weapons the stones blood the... uh blood pellets no anyway the equipment that you equip to your weapons that have that offer yeah rune the rune type things yeah no yeah. not the rune no no but, anyway, but the, I, I know I know what you, you know mean. what I mean I know yeah mean, the, yes. the the gems or whatever the fuck like those things were a little bit flawed and the and the um. Chalice dungeons aren't the most thrilling thing in the game, but like they're fine. Chal those... The chalice dungeons could have not been in the game at all. So yeah, but like I don't really, you but, know. But they're fine. Like I don't actually think they're like a a problem. Feels like extra content to me. Like it, it doesn't even. Yeah, I mean, well, what is sucky about that is like there are a bunch of cool bosses in there. So like if you want to see all the content, you, you gotta do have to go play through the challenge. Yeah, ones. true. I, I mean, I did it, and I thought I thought it was worth it. To be honest, I did enjoy playing them, even though they are like. A lot more bland, obviously. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's not one of the things I actually think is like a real flaw, because like hindsight's twenty twenty, and like looking back on that idea, you can see the problems with it. But when they were making it, it's like, yeah, well, it seems like a good idea. Hmm. On the other hand, not being able to warp from anywhere oh. to anywhere, like in previous Souls games, that just seems like a flaw from the ground. Hold up. that thought. Everybody's favorite fatty. Here he is. Botos. Well, hello, X. You're early. <laughs> early. We know all about what the Rebellion Army is trying to do Fuck, with the man. super force metal Fuck, you got man. your hands on. And there's no way we're gonna let you get away with firing that missile of yours. Not under our your watch. Your lips are moving this time. Never. But not his, you though. You even know about the missile. The modeler didn't make enough we're verts. Oh, countries. God. <laughs> To put a stop to your devious plans. Axel can't talk either. That's all right. <laughs> There's not enough vertices in his mouth to Fabulous. make it make it move. But do you yes. know about the war? Actually, yes, we do. That's all we spent we our last 15 minutes have finding the keys out about. To the warhead, you see? <laughs> yeah, okay. The warhead is locked. Oh my god. Unless I can't. It's gross. It's actually grossing me out. <laughs> Fine then. In that case, I guess the only thing for us to do is just to take yep. the key from you. <laughs> There's a kid that was in my Stop. elementary school class so that always had his mouth really open. Looks just like this guy. Easy. Hated it. He stuck his tongue out a lot too. I hated it. Just slack jawed mouth breather. It fucking sucks. Really? Yeah, fight him again. Really, bro? Wasn't that bad the first time. You don't know when to quit, do you? The same kid is he flying thing. now? <sighs> well, like there was literally—is it—is there any change up? What what do we do? I, I can actually check. I actually have the ability right. to check right well, now. Well, we'll find out nice and quick, shall we? Then you know, because whatever. Oh oh oh. Okay. Wait, hold on. Ow, ow, ow. No, wait, hold on, hold on. What's hold on. up? What's up? It's not real. Oh, it's not a real plane. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> Goofy music you time. You tricked me, loser. Yes. Very strong. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -doop. I, I Team Rocket. Not now. Oh my god. When I was just looking up, like, Botos's. <laughs> if this was a different again. Botos or not, like, not so there's gonna be some goof shit coming up. Great. As far as I can see. Great. So he runs away. Okay, and, catch up. And we catch up. Keep up. Keep up. Hey. Alright. Not bad. Don't really care. I've noticed that this game has like they have significantly more chests than in other games. They have oh the gate hyper is nice. They have nothing. They're running. It's not that they're running out, but it's like there's nothing else. Like yeah, there's nothing else thrilling to put in the dungeons. I keep like, thinking so they just gain put is built. And I gotta stop doing. Yeah, that. it's not well, the recovery item. Whatever, build shield on cinnamon. Yeah, um, well. fucking, they're giving us figure tokens when they have nothing else to give us. Dude, that like. I remember, I feel like we talked about that before. Yeah, where it's like they've no, there's nothing else. Just drop more, put more chests in the levels. Put more chests in the levels. We don't have any three. Like, look, there's a chest. Build speed. And it's like the chests don't really correct the like. I mean, it's a build. It's a build design. item. It's a yeah. build. I'm not gonna complain. Oh, build about items it. are good. Build items are great. Yeah, you know, but like, it's either that or you give like a an in, in between mission ability to do that stuff on a, some kind of Mass Effect screen, mm -hmm. you know? Which I actually like that approach, to be wow, honest. Wow, another save point. And we barely got into random fights, I guess that's actually. generous. Like, I feel like maybe that was like a... 
like a trick where they're like, hey, you're going to fight a boss soon. Here's oh, a save point. you know what? It wouldn't have been convincing if that save point wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it would be weird if you were thrust into the boss fight. Here we go again. Yeah. Right, okay. right. This is where we're going to start getting to the goofy shit that I was talking about. And the music is not even pretending that it's not goofy shit. <laughs> Uh, they just like went like at one point in that anime. I'm pretty sure they just clipped right through each other. But yeah. whatever. Did I actually have to pay attention to the real one there? Nah, it's fine, dude. Okay. Probably though. <laughs> Cause like. Probably though, but whatever. You know. <sighs> okay. No, we got trickered. No. He trickered us. I bet you it's the same going you both don't ways. Know when to Oh, and now he's looking at us from the other angle. He's gonna say he's on the wrong side of the screen. What the? F what are we? What are, what are we doing here? <laughs> this, fa this fight's actually weird looking. It's really weird looking having him on the wrong side. I mean, look. At least he's intentionally go like goofy. Yeah. And I wasn't sure if he like, was intentionally goofy until right, just well, recently. I was worried that they might be trying to take him seriously. That's yeah, exactly yeah. it. You know. Um. Bah. Anyway. That's what Mega Man X is about. It's all about, like, goofy... goofy characters in crazy situations, right? And his weakness isn't the same, I guess, because it's the fake. <laughs> the inverted... Yeah. What, uh... Although this camera angle reminds me of, um... cool RPGs that, like, mix up the angle you fight from. Yeah, definitely. Um, Chrono Trigger is one of them, where you, like, you, you know... It's you'll based on how you come into the fight, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, Setsuna has, of course, the same thing. And, it's the I mean, same battle system. I'll be, um... Uh, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, a broken record and, and- Lost Odyssey. Yep, exactly. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. It was nice. 50, it was 50. Perfect. Was yeah, no, I know, it was no. 50. No, 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 no. This is actually kind of a real fight, though. Yeah, but the music's not helping. I should bring in, um, X after this, then, because... If it's actually kind of a real fight, then... I should approach it the same way. Yeah, no reason not to. <laughs> He's not doing his sing attacks, but he is bringing shit. Ah, god damn it! <sighs> oh well, time to focus on fucking. You will. I'll do the strategy I did last time exactly. Yeah. And then just do the do the waves and do the the charge shots, and we're good. Um, I'm trying to think of other joke fights in RPGs. There are none. This was the first game that ever did it. First time ever, right? First time ever. Yep. Okay, at least those guys are dealt with. Well, though that like he'll always be strong enough with that attack to to bring them down to yeah, at least the which is perfect. Um, you just just get out, and bring him in. This song is annoying me. <laughs> it is, it is, it is pretty annoying, actually. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's doing its job. Like, I'm not feeling very receptive it's to this doing section its job. of the game right now. To which you say, Liam, you haven't appeared to be very receptive to most parts of the game. But trust me, right now I'm really not feeling this one more than the other one. <laughs> Take your word for it, then. Yeah, does this book have anything uh, interesting to say about this fight? God damn it. You know, I have a choice to make. If you follow the fake Botos, you will fight ahead. It's not a tough fight at all. Decoy only has 12,000 life energy. So. I don't want to waste a hyper on him, but it, it might get it out of our lives. Apparently, quicker. he only has 12,000. No, there so we go. Done. We're yeah. done. That wasn't too bad. It, was, it actually kind of wasn't bad. Why you? This is too much. Let's go after the other Botos. All right. We should go ahead and get the item behind the yeah. this Botos, though. This What's, fake Botos. Exactly. Of course. What's bait? What is bait? Yeah, I saw that was one of the things that said he could drop, but I didn't, uh... It doesn't say what, what the items do beside them in the guide. I'm sure there's a page for it elsewhere, but... Uh, tracks enemy attention until the next round. Okay, it's That's just... That's not bad. It's just an enrager. But it, it seems like it... Like you can force enemies to attack that character. Uh, though, yeah, exactly. Which is, which is actually pretty good. Thank you, Token. I like when it's an ability that you have, like taunt or, like yeah, yeah. you know, something along those lines. But an item that does focus taunt on is, me. is like that's pretty neat. It's a good idea. 
against certain bosses, you just want your tank to mm -hmm. go nuts. Uh, yeah. God damn, I'm still like on that. Like, it would have been so much more interesting if you had that boss select screen like a Mega Man game. Well, fucking yeah! Like, what a huge miss. It would have been a slam dunk, and like not to say that this, it, this game's design is like go to this area and warp out to other areas. Like it makes perfect sense to do that exact thing with this with this layout, you know. Like we might get, not to say that we won't get some semblance of it maybe at the end or something, but the the game should have been built around. Yeah, that. yeah. Because nothing says Mega Man like a fucking boss select screen, you know. And by, and at that point, you kind of know what's coming. You kind of you're looking at that character. You're like it'd be fucking cool if you go in as Mega Man and you recruit the other robots as you beat them. Well, and, and, and that's if your, your party. party that'd yeah. be a fun. That'd be a fun game. Like, you know what that is actually? You're describing. Um, there was a Mega Man RPG that took place uh, between two and three, and it was on the Super Nintendo. I oh say. yeah. No 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 PlayStation One I think. PlayStation actually. One. Okay. Yeah, and it was called like like Rock Man whatever RPG world or something like that um, and there was totally there was a thing shit there was precedent for that because that seems fucking fun and this is yeah. this is what it is and you fight together to, to defeat the true bad guy yeah um, that would have been fucking great man because there's something to it like even in the Mega Man Zero games or the games where they decided to have a much more linear story mm -hmm. they would oh wrong attack for that color stupid um, they would still have uh like, a boss select screen, even if there was a recommended sort of order to go in, and, like, the fact that the all every stage was connected. Because that, that's Mega Man, because that's yeah. the feel of a Mega Man. Zero was really cool, because it had a, a uh, Metroid-esque world where every stage was connected to each other. Yeah. And you could just run right up to... But Zero was also, like, blindingly tough on your first playthrough, where it's like, oh, you died? Well, enjoy not fighting that again. Yeah, it's brutal. It's brutal. I'm remembering that, right? You just... You only have one chance to fight a boss or whatever? Um... Mm, what was it? No, it was more like... Uh, there was a consequence that would get you kicked out of the stage. Yeah, and you couldn't really return to it, You could right? return, you could you return. You could return? Okay. But uh, there was there was something to it. I, uh, that, that it's I, been it's, a minute. It's been a minute, exactly. Uh, but yeah, but there was still like a, you know, select which one of these guys you want to go after. Yeah. Or just, you know, manually run over there, or whatever, and, and grind on your way. Enjoy. I know they gave you some options on that, and that was cool. Um, it was a neat idea, honestly. They could have learned Novel. from that for this. I hear ZX and ZX Advent are good, but I've just never... Just never played them. Um, I, again, I briefly started ZX, but uh, it's just I, I knew that it came after Zero Three, 3 and I never got around to beating that, so right. that's where I'm at. Um, yeah, I bought that collection on the DS when that came out, of uh, all the Zero games. It's okay. Neat. Um, didn't miss anything, right? We chased. We're chasing. No, no. You, you beat. You beat the shitty Botos, and now you're on the real Botos path. Okay. Um. Does is there more shenanigans afoot? Yes. <laughs> shenanigans yes. continue. Just gonna say that right away, right off the bat. Oh my god, yes. Can't pretend it's not. Okay. Alright. That's fine. You're gonna have a good time. Like, we got... the Like, we got a... a, a I'd say it was a full dungeon with the desert and the inside section last time. This time around, it, it feels like we're getting through it in, like, a much, much smaller one, mm -hmm. as we mentioned earlier, but, uh... I mean, it feels smaller, but, like, ultimately the random encounters still occupy most of the time. Yeah. Uh... Initially, ah, oh, fuck! I didn't read that. Good. I'd love to like. I, I I was looking at a video when I was editing it, and like I was actually making some cuts where fights would start and end. Right. Um, and I noticed it was ridiculous. It was like 80, 20, or if not eighty five fifteen. Of fight time versus fight time versus time. run time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I I was just saying I'd love to go through a bunch of like, uh, long plays of people on their first playthrough through RPGs and just time like how long See do you what spend it's like. in a in a dungeon. And what's the breakdown of, yeah, uh, navigation versus battle? Because, like, I feel like Mega Man, I feel like this game has a ridiculously stacked amount of time in the battle side of things. Like, I don't think it's even remotely even. And, you know, we know for a fact that this could just be because of the GameCube version. 
Yeah, which a apparently mystery, has which we'll an increased never know. encounter rate for no good reason. A mystery we will never understand. Like, because if you told me the PS2 version has a decreased counter encounter rate and a higher XP rate, well, I'll be like, well, shit, this version sucks then. You no, know? yeah, it's making you do more for less. But I think it's the same rate of XP in, in the uh, PS2 version as well. If they, ju if they just change the balancing of the game, and I guess that affects... Yeah. You know, how much you're going into each... Uh, and we can't much play it as up. good. Maybe they added more enemies to make it easier for Nintendo fans. Because you'll be a higher level. But, this is, but, but it makes it harder because it makes you, like, have more chances of, like, going into a boss. But the bosses are the real challenge, so you'll be at a you're higher right. level. You're, yeah, you're not going to die to a rando. That is true. Yeah. Well, unless it's FFX and... Yeah. Oh, yeah? The fucking uh, flamethrower guy? <laughs> you heard about that, didn't oh, you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was hard not oh, to. Oh, where it gets around. Um, I didn't really watch it, but... Perfect playthrough up until that point. Yeah. And then that other point. And then that third point. <laughs> Perfect playthrough. Perfect playthrough. Flawless. Just like that no death run of MGS5 we did. I mean, all you know, to be fair, there hasn't been a single death in this. <laughs> okay, so now pay attention. But we wanted to get the item anyway, didn't we? Uh, but do you want to fight another shitty fake Botos? <laughs> He's on. He's, he went upwards. Yeah. So the real one went north. Yeah. The com the, the camera turned to confuse. If, if you. you really want to fight the west one, there is a build armor behind him. Build armor. That's a pretty good thing to have. That's not bad. But I I, I, you. I can hear you. Let, you know what? I'll, let's get the build armor. Ah, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's build. You, builds are good to have. They are good, but they are. Good. There's. They're limited too. You know, it's not like you can just go buy them or like. You don't know when to so again, apparently twelve thousand life. So just fucking a waste the hyper him. on him. Well, I might need the hyper for a yeah, real fight. Yeah, I, I was gonna say just just slam him normally. You know. <laughs> yeah. What I'll do is, um, you know, who can like Zero can bring the pain, and uh, Massimo can bring the pain. X not as much. So you know what? In fact, how about you just how about you leave right now? I'll give you a chance I'm to generate. Enough. Are you? Yeah, Zero can bring the pin. It'll it'll be fine. Yeah. Um, Axel, maybe uh, whatever. Yeah, he's water or some shit. Get some damage in on the, the side enemy or not? Oh, it's a defeat. Ah, it was hidden. Fuck yeah, yeah. I oh. well, not that it was hidden. I was paying attention there. Uh, and then she can do do a ton on her own as well. So. Didn't we, like, come to a consensus that you just want to use Axel's, uh, Wechima whenever you can? His the water, yeah, thing? yeah, yeah. No, that's, it was a mistake because, um, okay. I, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to the side where that bit was. Because you do more, you do more damage with the wa well, with whatever spell than his, his buster anyway, right? Am I crazy? Uh, yeah, but sometimes if you, uh, well, yeah, and I, and I should be able to, it depends on how much energy I have, if I, if, like, I just want to make sure I'm over 50 at all times, if I'm not, then... Um, it's a waste. And if I can... But with him, it's just time. It's just time, but if I have enough to use a, a power charge, right, then I can add more damage to that spell. You understand? So the power charge is 30? Right, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, 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 it sounds familiar. And he's always going to be calling one out and blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, you can just action trigger your way to... Yeah, it's, it's fucking damage. Ah, <sighs> god. Nope. That's a bad way to start. Terrible. Oh god. I'm sorry. Could be worse. No, 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 no. This. That was terrible. Oh, look. Nice. This might... 12,000 damage? I'm gonna have to kill the bit, probably, though. Oh, no, there is none. Okay, yeah, we're done. No, there's a bit. <laughs> no, I'm gonna have to kill the bit. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh, heal us. Please... Because the, like, the, the extra, the extra top-off turn isn't bad, you know? Like, no, no, not at all. Instead of wasting our... our things. Weapon energy, yeah. Which begs the question, why wouldn't this RPG allow me to do that on the map? 
it's overpowered because you'd be able to do it all the time for free. But games, a lot of RPGs let you heal on the map. Yeah, but that costs MP. Which you don't regenerate every turn in a lot of games. That's in this true. game, you regenerate weapon energy. Every you have a you have an effectively infinite pool of it you're for free. You're not wrong. You're not so, wrong. You're right. You're right. Well, that's why you have the um, the uh, sub sub tanks, which are it's a smart system actually. That makes up for it. You're so, yeah yeah totally, totally straight up. That's your finite resource. These walls look really good in this area. I like those ones that we just ran by. Though they look really nice. Okay. So he went north. Oh, another cryogenic. Interesting. Hmm, I don't know who I want to give that to just yet, but... Whatever, save again. Have to think about it. Have to think about it. Save every room. Yep. You know what, and I'll, I'll use this opportunity to use the bathroom, actually. Excuse me.